In today's video, we are going to do a create with me. I haven't done one of these for a little while. So in a moment, you're going to pause this video, open up Teachers Pay Teachers, and we are going to create a template for you to put right in your Teachers Pay Teachers store, inactive, of course, and then you'll be able to save so much time when you're uploading products. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, if you are new or returning, welcome. My name is Lori Ann and this is It's All Primary, where we talk teacher side hustles. And in response to some things that happened last week with the, I'll put a thumbnail here, with uploading, you can make for yourself a template that will save you so, so, so much time. It takes a bit of time to create the template, but then once you got the template, it's kind of like, you know, it's one and done, right? And then you just have to tweak things as you're uploading products. But, you know, we're all about finding ways to make, you know, find shortcuts, organizational tips, anything that'll help us make our, our businesses run more smoothly. Okay, um, before we get to that, it is the TPT site-wide sale happening as I'm filming this. And um, when it's over, if your store is older than a year, I want you to look at last year's stats, what you made last year at the sale compared to this year. Many sellers made zero sales. Um, so far, this is, this is actually my best sale <laughs> of the site-wide sales. I normally only make a couple sales, but at the same time, I know most people are going for those big amounts of clip art, those big bundles, and I, you know, honestly, I just don't have them in my own store. So if you are new and you didn't made no sales, do not worry, honestly, do not worry. Just keep track of it. Um, write down things that, what did I do to, market it or advertise it? Did you actually say anything? Did you send out a note to followers? What did you do as part of marketing for that site white sale? Do you have an email that you sent out, right? Write everything down that you did and maybe even didn't do, okay? So that next year when the back to school site white sale happens, you will be able to again compare because ideally you're gonna pick up some things this year so that next year site wide sale you'll do even better, okay? Templates, 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 templates. You know I've got templates in my TPT store. By the way, if you have the TPT seller bundle that I've created, I just uploaded another uh, product to it, which is a Canva product covers templates. So there's there are five templates in that little pack. No, actually there are six. There are six <laughs> templates in that package, but if you purchase the bundle, it's you, you're getting it for free. So make sure you're uh, keeping tabs of downloads on products that you've purchased, okay? What I want you to do, and we're gonna go through this together, I want you right now to pause this video. You're gonna open up your Teachers Pay Teachers, and what I want you to have available is one thing because there's only one way we can save this and that means we have to upload something. So either have your logo or a copyright or some sort of little image that we can upload to this um, fake file <laughs> or this template file that we're going to put in your store, okay? It won't be active so no one will see it, okay? All right, so pause this video and let's give it a go. Okay, 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 okay. In your dashboard, go to the house, right? Dashboard, and you're going to go add new product. Have a piece of paper with you because you're going to need to take some notes, and then you are uh, going to finish this later, but it will save, okay? I'm going to show you how to save it. It will take a little bit of time. So we're going to go select a file from your computer. This is how you upload normally. What we're going to do is we're going to say template and make it bold so you see it. Do not publish. And then depending on what you make, you might even want to do draft for worksheets or something. Now, we will be required to upload. It is required. So I'm, this is why I asked you earlier to have something available. It doesn't matter what goes in here because we're not making this 
public, okay? But if you've got a, even a little image, even of yourself or something, on your desktop that you can just drag over and throw it in there, that's all you need to do. For example, I think on one of the other videos, I dragged over the copyright. So let me just see if I can see it. Well, I know what I can do. I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drag in here a red circle. I, I made a red circle for a product, so I'm going like this, and that's in there. Now, there are certain things that you find you will do over and over and over again, and so that's why this is important. For example, tax code is always other digital products because we don't do physical things like that. I can almost always say this is going to be $3 because that's an average price. I work with uh, kindergarten to grade two. My subject areas and it will change depending on what you're uploading, but I'll put some of these in and I can always change them. But subject areas, it's either going to be math or language arts, nine out of ten times. I don't need to know the standards right now. Is it going to be appropriate for Canada? Almost always. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't need to know it right now. I'm going to be probably using somebody's copy, uh, copyrighted materials, like their clip art or their fonts, and so I have to use the second one. When I say this one, I'm saying everything in this product is of my creation, and it's not. I mean, it, you may have things that you've done, but most of us will purchase clip art, whether it's free or paid, fonts, anything like that. It's it is actually copyrighted stuff. Therefore, we have to say we're not infringing upon their terms of use, okay? And then we're going to unclick this right here. And that makes it inactive. It doesn't show, okay? I like to keep this message here. Just You can remove that. But this is what we're going to work on right here. Your snippet is very important because the algorithm picks up words that you're using within the first three sentences, roughly. So you want to make sure you're using words like students will practice and what is the skill, right? Students talk about skills included in this resource. And then you, you list what's in this resource. Some people will read this, some people will look at your thumbnails. That's why your thumbnails will be important. Thumbnails and preview PDF. You have the choice, these are optional, but this one is your often your selling ticket. I've done I have products that have only a preview video, they get lots of views, they don't get sales. They get some, but they don't get a lot. So you want to put in here a list of things that is going to be in there. One of the things you might want to do is bold your skills. So for example, if I was saying um, students will practice math fact fluency, these are key words that teachers are looking for. I would bold this. It doesn't affect, the bolding does not affect the algorithm, but you want to bold things that stick out for people to see because they may not read word for word. Now, one way to make your product descriptions just a little bit more interesting looking, appealing, is a color or little icons. And this is an HTML coding, If and you don't have to learn HTML to figure this out, but there are certain icons that you can copy paste in here and TPT will accept them. You can do this and also later on I want you to do a what's called related products that may interest you. Okay, so we've got these two and you can bold that so it stands out. You can put a border of some sort. You want it to look easy to read, <laughs> appealing. So I'm going to put related products here and I'm going to show you a quick uh, free tool that you can use to do that. But in here I might want to say hyperlinked table of contents. That's If you're going to have a large product, that's always an appeal. Written in instructions. Answer keys. Right, Different things that you are including in your resource, but these little hyphens get to be boring. So how can we change this? Two ways. One is a free one and one is a cost. So depending on what you want. The free one is a website that offers HTML compatible icons and it's, oh, let me just open it up, and it's Sabine, Sabine, uh, N-O-R-E dot com and you can see mine's already popping up here. 
I will have this link down below, and these are HTML code symbols. So any of these will work. Things like this, arrows. She doesn't have the yellow star, which I thought she did. She's just got these white stars. So you could use these. Like I said, this is the free version. If I wanted, um, I don't know. let me just pick this white star that's shadowed. You highlight it, copy it, and then just move it right over to your page. And we're going to put it right here, paste it. And there it is. And then I can just paste it again and paste it again. So that makes things stick out a little bit. The other way, which is a cost, you can actually get it on sale either way, but there's two different ways if you want to get it on sale. You just have to go to Bearwood Labs. This is Bearwood Labs. This is Bjorn's store. He is in Australia. And you would be looking for the Product Description Editor Pro. It's $29. You can see it's got a lot of sales. But if you get the um, Product Pro, you get all so many more icons you can see actually and you can get a three day trial if you want to just try it out right they'll have the get started here and then there will be more now as i said 29 dollars during any back to school or site-wide sale the tpt has this goes on sale 25 percent off actually interesting enough it doesn't say pc anymore on here i'm wondering if he has made it compatible for both he used to have a, a separate PC and a Mac, but looks like this is now compatible for both, which I knew he was working on. If you want to try it, here's the preview. And you get three products to do that. So if we go here, actually I'll use, I won't use the free, you can type in your, the URL of your store is when you are in your store, it's the full uh, address that comes up here. So for example, let's go back to Actually, let me just go to my store on this page. So this is the URL. So it's teacherspayteachers.com slash store slash your store. So just go to your store, copy this, and then when you go into that, if I go here, and then I go into this, whoops. And if I go, and if I go here, I just put that in, hit go, and now I've got three products. Now, I've already paid for it, so that's why this is coming up. But these are the yellow stars that I like. So he's got, you'd go to where the little icon is, the emoji, and these are all his selections. So a lot of the same ones, but there are more. And he's always trying to figure out new ones. Look at the little tent. and the, So, you know, not as many emojis as normal, but these ones are HTML compatible. So like I said, I like the star, so I'm going to use that one. And then I just, again, copy it, go back to my thing, and I can paste it like that okay so that's one thing you want to have ready. the second thing you want to have ready is you want to upsell by upselling more sales for you more good resources for the buyer you're going to pick things that are related to what they're buying so if I'm doing a math fact fluency addition to 20 then I'm looking for products that have to do with addition when I first started I was going back and forth between my store trying to get all these lists you don't have to do that Bearwood Labs, again, under their products, if you scroll down to the free products, you want this one right here, the Related Products Builder. Okay, so when you click on that, this shows up. And you type in again, put your URL here, and I just did that, so I put that in. Whoops. <laughs> Actually, I typed It's All Primary, and this came up. And here are all my products. Woo! So I can look at, okay, so there's three-digit edition. Now it's over here. Look at that. And then I'm going to do adding doubles to 20, and it's over here. And you can ignore this. I'll do, uh, I'll do two more. And I wouldn't make a long list. I would do no more than three to five. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, highlight, copy, go back over, get rid of that, and paste. And now I've got that. When it's got a hyperlink, it shows up green. Now, two more things. You want to encourage reviews because they get free credits. And you also want to encourage maybe them following you because then they get a notification that uh, you have got a new product or you can send a note. When you do note to follower, you can send it to them as well. There's advantages to that. So you want to encourage that. So what you want to do is you want to type up here some sort of comment. I'll, let me just, I'm just going to copy and paste it, mine, one of them in there. I have it, it different ways every so often. 
but I'll just go into a product. Here's a simple one. Be the first to know about my new discounts things. Look for the green star next to my click and click follower. So I'm just going to copy that, right? So that people, when they go up and see your store logo, they become, hopefully become a follower. The other one is if you want free products, and again, bold it by writing a review for this product, you will receive credits to go towards your next purchase. Something like that. Okay, and then you just, just sign it off. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. You can add your own little stuff, but sign it off. I, I usually say happy teaching. So happy teaching, and then I just sign my name. And again, I can just change it up a little bit, italicize it. And now you've got this. So when I hit submit, it's not going active. It's going to go gray in the store. So let me click submit. And it's coming up saying, oh, you need to at least put one subject in here. I'll do mouse because that's what I need majority. And they'll tell you if you're missing something. But again, you can change that. We are back at my product listings. And this is the template. So as you can see, it's gray. It's got this gray shading on it. It says inactive. But now all I need to do is when I'm about to create a product, I can go to quick edit and create a similar listing. And it, all of this shows up. You know, so if I go create similar list, similar listing, and now here it is. So the stuff is already on there. I mean, some some things go back to copyright and this, but now I'm this is a product. Hopefully, that I'm going to make active. If you've got any questions, pop them down below. If you need further explanation on this, just let me know. So it takes, like I said, it takes it takes a little bit of work. To get this thing going but once you have it ah right i also as i've mentioned use create similar listing i use that one a lot especially if i'm doing a product that is really similar and a lot of times i am making very similar products so that works great too but either one you will notice a big difference if you've got those ready to go so take the time to finish it and again have it ready make make sure it's inactive upcoming video boom we're going to we haven't visited boom for a long time we're going to visit boom boom has got some new updates very interesting i'm still playing with them so i can't show you a tutorial on all of it yet but i uh, attended the first day's symposium for the boom learning conference and i'm going to share with you some of the things that i learned there um, the second day is tomorrow so if I learn anything, I will add that to my list. But I got some things that you're going to be excited about if you make boom cards. Okay. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you and your family are staying safe, being healthy, be healthy. And if you are back to school, pace yourself. Okay. It's just the beginning. And if you are still on holidays, enjoy, enjoy your time. And we'll catch you in that video or that playlist. See ya. Thank you.